Hey, what's up guys? This is John from Fast Action Training and I want to bring you a couple tips on what to do if you get shin splints. So, we've all had them. A lot of times when we're training for a run, uh, it can really just derail you and all of a sudden you can't do any more of your run. So, a lot of times it's due to the inflammation in and around the, the front part of your shin. It could be a tendon, it can be some muscle damage as well. And while resting helps, using the RICE method, rest, ice, compression, and elevation, what I want to talk about today is loosening up the muscle tissue in and around that area, and I think that'll help you out a lot. So I'm going to show you three ways to use your foam roller that should help this out, okay? So the first one is going to be using the foam roller on just the, the bottom part of your calf right here. Hands can be braced behind you. You're going to slowly roll up and back on your calf. So kind of down towards your ankle, and then all the way up to your knee, but not actually underneath it. The second one's going to be on the side. So what we're going to do is just kind of open up your foot a little bit, and then roll up and side down and up. The last one is going to be actually getting your anterior tibialis, that's the front part. So kind of be careful on this because since your tibia is right there, you don't want to actually go up and back on that. So what we're going to do is take your foot and turn it in a little bit as you place it on the foam roller. Hands can be braced right here and then use your hands to brace. So all I'm going to do is roll up and back and you'll feel the muscular tissue right there and it'll feel really good when you loosen it up. Once you're done, with those three, stand up, do some light calf stretching exercises. But if you combine these four rolling exercises with some rest, ice, compression, elevation, maybe some anti-inflammatories, you're going to be good to go. Until next time. Hey, what's up, buddy? This is John Herring with Fast Action Training. I want to talk to you about another little running issue that sometimes occurs called IT band syndrome. So your IT band runs from the top of your hip all the way down to the top of your knee. And it's a piece of connective tissue. Now, a lot of us experience some pain in around our knee think that if we just foam roll on our IT band, all of a sudden that pain is going to miraculously disappear. Now, the professional's debate goes on whether or not you should actually foam roll your IT band, which will loosen it up, or something different. So I'm going to give you a few tips to do something else to help you with that pain, rather than just foam rolling on the side of your leg on that IT band, okay? The two areas we're going to foam roll are your TFL, otherwise known as your tensor fascia lata. You can look it up in the anatomy book if you'd like to. But what I'm going to have you do is put your hands in your hips, and then kind of just run that one hand right down the side. And as you push in there, you're probably going to find a little bit of a tender spot. That's where you're going to want to go. Now, the two tools you can use are going to be either a foam roller or a little softball. Now, for those of you who are starting off on this, I recommend the foam roller, okay? Either a black one or one of the white ones with a little bit less uh, tension on it, okay? So, once I find that spot, I'm going to come down onto the foam roller, nice and easy, place it right on that TFL, and roll up and back. Just like that. If you find a tender spot, kind of sit on it, loosen it up, okay? Now, if that's not getting the area enough for you, go ahead and replace that with the softball. Place it right there again on that spot, nice and easy. Use your hands to brace, okay? The other spot we're going to look at is the glute medius. So that's kind of on the side, right on the buns right there. So I'm going to take this foam roller again. I'm going to sit on it. My right leg's going to be propped. My left leg's going to be out. My foot kind of flared out just a little bit. I'm going to lean a little bit on that left side so I can really get my, my left glute and glute medius there and roll up and back. This is going to be a little bit more on the side, kind of near your hip right there. So as you're rolling up and back, again, find that tender spot and then relax it as much as you can. Now again, if this is not getting deep enough for you, you can replace that with the friendly softball. Just make sure that you're propping your hands in the back in case it's too much pressure. All right? So, Try those two formal line tips if you're experiencing any pain in the knee or IT band syndrome and see if that helps with your runs. Until next time.